Hi, I am Ali Ahmed. In this video, we are going to discuss vCenter on Windows deployment troubleshooting techniques, which will help you troubleshoot your vCenter on Windows deployment effectively. So, let's get started. To understand or uh, effectively uh, troubleshoot your vCenter on Windows deployment, you really need to understand different phases involved in vCenter um, uh, deployment on Windows which we already have covered in detail uh, in previous videos. So in this video, we are going to see that the, uh, this is kind of an overview of different stages involved in vCenter deployment. As you can see on the screen, your installation can fail at, at any stage. If it is failing at any stage, it, the installer will uh, mark it, it as a failed stage and do cleanup and you have to reinstall the vCenter server uh, on Windows after fixing the issue. So as we know, the installation can fail at any stage. So if in, at any stage if, uh, your installation fails, then where we should start from? To understand that, we need to also understand the logs which are getting generated at uh, different stages. So, as you can see, our installer start with a pre-install phase. With this stage, there will be two logs created. One is vm install.log, another one is vim vcs msi.log. vim vcs msi.log is created by Windows installer and vm install.log is created by vCenter installer. We can call this, uh, these logs first level analysis log for the sake of uh, our understanding. So as we can see this, this log will start from pre-install check and it will be there till the end of the installation or the last till last stage that is install end stage. So let's move on to the next stage that is install state, uh, start stage. Uh, at this stage, there is no second log. There will be the same two logs uh, that will help us uh, isolate the issues. Uh, we have verify packages stage. There is again no second log. Then the installer will move into uh, right setting log, uh, right, right setting stage. After that, installer will move into load packages stage. Till uh, load packages stage, we can see we have only two main logs which is vm install and vim vcs msi.log. This log will be there to help you uh, isolate the issue uh, till the stage uh, load packages. Now the installer will move into install uh, packages stage, which is uh, actually in this stage, uh, the installer will go ahead and install uh, the MSI packages, which installer has loaded in the previous uh, you know, stage, which is install uh, load packages stage. So at this stage, uh, we can see another log uh, is coming in the picture, which is uh, package manager comp hyphen MSI dot log, which will have information about all the MSI log, uh, all the MSI packages, which is getting installed at this stage. So again, for the sake of our understanding, we will call these logs uh, second level analysis log. So let's say if any component uh, failed to get installed at this stage, uh, we can go ahead and find uh, the same thing being logged here in vm install.log uh, as well as in vim um, vcs msi hyphen uh, dot log. So those two logs will give us clue that this in, in, uh, particular component failed to install. To understand better, or to understand uh, enough or to get enough information to uh, you know isolate the problem we really need to uh, get the timestamp from uh, vmm install.log and search the same time here um, in package manager comp uh, hyphen msi.log this log will help you uh, isolate the problem then the next stage is uh, configure package stage where uh, the installer will go ahead and uh, configure the packages or component which were installed in the previous uh, stage install packages stage 
at this stage we can see there is uh, another second level log is being created for each and every component which is which is being configured so let's say if there is any component which is not being configured you can uh, see the the log uh, for that component in vm install.log and vm vcs msi.log as we say this these log will give you information about this component is not being configured or let's say this service is not being started um, in uh, in these two main logs but if you really want to find out why the component or service is not getting installed or started then you need to look into the second level log so again you need to get the time stamp uh, for that particular issue and go to the related component um, first boot dot log and you will be able to get enough information to isolate the problem now the installer will move into the last stage that is uh, install end stage where um, you can see that we have uh, no any other second log getting created at this stage we have only vm install uh, and vim vcs hyphen msi dot log so if there are there are only two logs that means those two logs will help us isolate uh, any issue if if there that that issue is occurring at this stage so now we understand uh, at which stage our vcenter uh, on windows installation can fail we also know what are the different logs and uh, at what different stages they are getting uh, created so the next question is how would you know at which stage your installation was failed one thing uh, if you are installing vcenter server and you are before the inst uh, installer screen then you can easily uh, identify that at which stage uh, your installation is getting failed but what if somebody is sending you log bundle and reading the log bundle you have to identify at which stage your installation uh, installation was failed and what would be the right log you need to really jump into and find the issue in next video we are going to discuss how to troubleshoot vcenter on windows installation uh, from the log bundle thank you